Welcome to another edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Our guest this week is Gabby Martinez. She's a junior elementary education major from Mount St. Mary's out of Oklahoma City. Hi, Gabby. How are you doing? I'm good. Great to have you on the show and uh, talk about your soccer a little bit. Started all 19 games last year uh, with the women's team and second team all-conference. Yes, that was a big award for me. And we had a good season last year. And off to a pretty good start uh, this year. Uh, had a tough stretch with the Division II colleges up at uh, UCO a couple of weeks, but a couple of big wins last week against Bethel and Tabor. Yeah, I felt like we did good against the D2 schools. Um, you know, we always want the win. I feel like we came out short in the end, but we did do good. Um, I feel like we're ready for the conference now. We got, you know, the first game out of the way and our nerves out, so hopefully we can just do better from here. Open up the conference uh, schedule earlier this week with Oklahoma City University. Unfortunately, a tough loss for the gals. Yeah, that was a tough loss on all of us. Um, I just think that we need to just pick our group back together and see what we need to figure out for the next game. Of course, you just play each team once in the conference, and uh, so the next uh, uh, six, seven weeks are critical, and you want to play well and qualify for the for the postseason tournament. Yeah, that's definitely our goal this year, and I know now we really do want to see OCU again. We want to show them that we're not that team that we showed in the last game. We want to come back and get them. Let's talk about you a little bit. Come from a big family. I'm third oldest in a family of nine. I grew up, I have all, there's always a brother and sister around. My latest baby sister, she was born a day after my birthday, so that's kind of a good birthday present for me. So I was really excited. All right, uh, and talk about your decision now to come to USAO. Um, the coaches, I played for them in the club level, and so they contacted me, and um, they offered me to play here, and I really like the school. I like the small size, and I thought, well, if I can have soccer pay for my education, why not? So I've really enjoyed it so far. And not only is a soccer scholarship, but your president's leadership council scholarship as well, and, and talk about uh, that and what some of your responsibilities are. Yeah, I have that scholarship. What I do is um, you're just required to be in a certain amount of clubs. You have certain um, responsibilities in there. It's like I have to volunteer once a week at a, um elementary school to help out, and I have to be in maybe one or two clubs and just stay active and volunteer on the weekends for different things. So I'm always active here. So elementary ed major, so you go to some of the elementary schools. Talk about uh, uh, what you're doing when you uh, go to those schools. Last semester I took a, a class when I went to – it was field observation and I got to sit in I sat on a preschool class and then I sat in third grade and I really liked the third grade class and I just kind of sit there and I read to the kids and take notes about what the teacher's doing so I'm, I'm getting there eventually I'll be teaching my own room. What do you like about teaching the youngsters? I just really like being an influence on them I, I like the idea of being a good role model and having the responsibility of you know shaping them and teaching them it's a good feeling. You play violin a little bit? Yeah, I do. I've been playing since I was six years old, so that's always been a hobby of mine. Music is a big thing in my family, so hopefully I can use that later in my life and make some money or something teaching. Now, when you first came to USAO, you, you kind of changed up a little bit, I guess. My freshman year, we had to have the music or artistic expression, so I thought, oh, I'll take violin class, and then they told me it's not fair for me to take violin, so they gave me a big cello, which that was a big change, definitely. Let's talk about the upcoming schedule a little bit. You're going to be back at home again uh, Friday. Oklahoma Christian will be coming to the Drover pitch. So uh, talk about uh, regrouping from the loss from OCU and getting ready for Oklahoma Christian. Um, I think the girls are going to get together, and we're going to have a training session. We're going to talk about what we need to fix. I think overall we just need to just get our confidence back and realize like we're, we're a good team, and we just need to come back and fight and show Oklahoma Christian who we really are this season. So I think we'll do good. Thanks a lot, Gabby. We appreciate your time out on In the Saddle with Drover Sports this week. As we mentioned, Oklahoma Christian coming in this uh, Friday. And then next Tuesday, the Drovers have their first road conference game at Mid-America Christian. Uh, by the way, USAO with two Sooner Athletic Conference Players of the Week this week. For the women, Callie Cooper scored six goals and had four assists in the two games last week against Tabor and Bethel. And Nikola Kikarevich had seven goals in two games last week, including uh, tying a school record that he set a couple of years ago, five goals in one game that came against Tabor College uh, last week. And uh, before the USAO men lost to OCU this week, the men moved up to number eight in the NAIA poll uh, in the 2010. 
We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports.